Yeah, Brazil's kind of a big country. Hey, what up? It's your girl Michaela Grace here, and welcome back. Today, we have a snack crate, and we're just gonna see what we got and eat. This is the snack crate. It's... <laughs> it's Brazil. Okay, I think they're starting to give out these little snack crate stickers every time, which is pretty cute. This one feels like not smooth like the last one I got, though. Like, it's got texture. You can... Okay, it's capital is Brasilia, currency Brazilian real, population over 200 million people. That's a lot. The word Brazil comes from the Portuguese word for Brazil wood, a tree that once grew plentiful along the Brazilian coast. Brazil contains 60% of the, nope, not American. <laughs> Brazil contains 60% of the Amazon rainforest. Rio de um, Janeiro was once the capital of Portugal. What does that have to do? Oh, right, because Brazil speaks Portuguese. Wow, that was okay. Um, and it's in Brazilian territory. Okay. There are 70 uncontacted tribes that live in the Amazon forest, rainforest. And Brazil shares a border with all South American countries except for Chile, Chile and Ecuador. I don't remember which one of these is Brazil, but it's somewhere up here. That's a little bit more than what I knew about, about Brazil, because all I know is that they're in South America, they speak Portuguese, um, and they do the the festival thing. It's like Cinco de Mayo, but it's not. It's got like floats and stuff, and there's a movie with birds about it. They have that and football, and um, they have like a lot of like poor areas. These are the um the other stickers they have for Brazil. These are so cute. Like, they're just like fun and quirky things. This is a statue of Jesus, I believe. Their flag. And then their snack crate flag. Um, I'm assuming because oh wait, snack crate January 2018. So I guess this is technically my January box. Because I have to pick it up from home. That's a shish kebab. That's a native. That's a little boy playing soccer. Neat. Oh, the paper is really pretty. Like, like that's just, that's pretty. <laughs> what? Ruffles. But like, this is like the coolest bag of ruffles I've ever seen. What? That's crazy. These are like, I think these are like cheese. They are like cheese crackers. Torcida Jr. Torcida Jr. Oh, this is cute. Original bibs al leite. So they're just like little chocolate malt balls, I believe. Such a cute little package. Okay, these are Paco Quitas. Doce de Amendo. What? They're like little peanut treats, I believe. Fini Regales Tubes Churros. Novo Sabor Churros. So it's like a little churro in there. That's cool. I've never had a churro. This is Bananina con Chocolate Cacao de Ubatuba. What? Ubatuba. Say it with me. Ubatuba. Um, but I think it's just like a, it's chocolate covered banana sweet. So it's like a little banana chocolate bar. These little candies, they're called Seven Bellows, or probably Siete Bellows. Sabor, the flavor. What is it? Um, from Bosca, from Bosa. I don't know what that means. <sighs> Let's get to snack. I'm gonna start with some ruffles. Guys, like, they look just like ruffles. That's crazy. But they're barbecue flavored, but, like, you wouldn't tell. Like, because, like, you wouldn't be able to tell because, you know, they're just, like, plain looking. It's weird at first. But it literally, like, you know how, like, you'll be walking down the street, like, in the summer, and you'll be walking like through like a neighborhood or something and you'll smell like charcoal from a grill. That's what this tastes like. Like it tastes like 
the scent of charcoal on a grill, like an actual barbecue charcoal grill. Tortita Jr. Did it. Aw. Ooh, smells like cheese. They're just like, they kind of look like little baby like raviolis. Um. Yeah. They don't have a lot of flavor. Am I opening this right? Nope. Mmm, there we go. I can't hold anything today. My hands are like low-key shaky. Mmm, and it kind of tastes like, um, Nestle Crunch Bars. I'm just gonna try this, because what if I don't like it? What the heck? Oh wait. No, this is it. It's like it looks like chocolate on the inside, but it's banana. That okay, you guys know fig newtons. It has like that texture of the inside, right? But with chocolate. I don't think I like it. With the peanut butter. Okay. I broke it. So I'm, it low-key just seems like peanut butter fudge. Mm-hmm. It was just peanut butter squares, guys. This does not look right. <laughs> look at that. That just like, it just looks weird. Like, I don't know. It's got like the sugar on it. It smells like caramel. I feel like I'm eating a candle. I just have the little phthalos left. Such a cute little candy. Oh. Wow. That is. Ow. These are harder to chew. I feel like we have a candy like this in the US. Low key, like a jawbreaker, but like the chewing form. It's, it's it's like Laffy Taffy, really. Now and later, that's what it was. Cause those bad boys take forever. It's good though. It's raspberry. It's nice and fruity and cute. Let me tell you guys. Um, half of these snacks are just weird. My two favorites are the Paco Kitas and the Siete Belos. Um, and then I did like. I like the tor the, the torcitas and the bibs. So these these four are my are my favorites. Just cause like the other ones like not that the chips are bad, they were just so weird. Like I don't know. I don't really want to eat charcoal chips, <laughs> and I felt like that's what I was doing. So thank you for tasting Brazil with me today, and. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, what it is, what you pulling me close. I don't know what to say. I just want to know when the night is over.